I declare the 2024 regular session 82nd Legislative Assembly is adjourned. Signy die. And with that, Oregon's legislative session wrapped up last night. From recriminalizing drugs to addressing concerns over artificial intelligence, lawmakers were busy this short session. And now the bills they passed are in the governor's hands. And speaking of Governor Kotek, last night she released a statement saying she intends to sign House Bill 4002 within the next 30 days. That's the bill that would roll back Measure 110, partially recriminalizing possession of a small amount of hard drugs. It also lets individual counties choose whether they want to prosecute users or send them to treatment. Supporters touted it as a compromise that gives both police and treatment providers the tools they need to help those who are addicted to drugs. That compromise came up last night during a news conference with Oregon's House Speaker and Senate President. They noted how Democrats and Republicans worked together to find a solution, and they hope to see more of that in the future. There wasn't a lot of elbowing around. There was just authentic engagement with people to actually talk about how do we drive towards solution. And like that's what I'm really proud about this session. And I'm hoping that this leads to more authentic engagement like this when we're addressing the big thorny problems that are facing Oregonians going. Lawmakers also passed House Bill 5201. The funding package supports several projects, including a new ballpark for the Hillsboro Hops. The money, it's money the team needed to be able to stay in Hillsboro. And earlier this week, lawmakers passed a bill which makes drug use on public transportation a high-level misdemeanor crime. It would carry a maximum sentence of up to a year in jail, a $6,000 fine, or both. Lawmakers also passed the first two bills in state history that regulate AI. One would create a task force to study the consequences of artificial intelligence. The other would require political campaigns to disclose the use of AI in ads and other forms of communication. And Oregon has a new House Speaker. Representative Dan Rayfield passed the gavel to Representative Julie Fahey, a Democrat from Eugene. She was elected in 2016 and has been House Majority Leader since 2022. Rayfield is running for Attorney General. Oregon's ban on book bans failed to pass this session. Senate Bill 1583 was sponsored by Oregon Senator Lou Frederick. It would have prohibited banning books from school libraries on the basis of discrimination against race, religion, or sexual or gender identity. It passed the Senate, but the House never took it up for a vote. Supporters said it would have protected access to books for all children, but opponents said it would have taken away local control of school boards. A similar bill in Washington, sponsored by Vancouver Representative Monica Stonier, is on the governor's desk.